haven't done a video in ages. Um, I'm going to try to put in a lot in this video, but I'm not sure if it's going to get too, too long. So we'll see. But I've got everybody nice and quiet. Ventura's got on his uh, throne of many pillows here. There's his hippo that he leans against. And on the bottom is that orthopedic pet bed. And then there's two other beds. He's pretty long. Looks like he's sleeping. And I've got little Ginger right here. Can you hear her snoring? Looks like it's going to be a loud video. <laughs> okay, so I had um, a request to do a comparison between the A5 Malden and the A5 Finsbury. And I actually thought I might try to sneak in the Midori Traveler's notebook and the passport size, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna... Oh look, Ventura moved. Hi baby. Hi. What you doing? Here's my shoes. What you doing, honey? So, I'll see how this goes. Um, I switched back and forth between the two of them because in a lot of ways they're very similar. Uh, particularly ring size, which is kind of the thing that makes the difference for me. I really need the biggest rings that Filofax has. Um, at the moment, this one is pretty empty. It has a zipper, slots. This is a mesh pocket more slots. They're horizontal. I know a lot of people like the vertical ones. Um, I don't know if I've had one with a vertical with vertical card slots, but I know what people are talking about. These are a little hard to get things in and out of. There's actually something in here. Oh, the file effect. One of the file effects little cards you get. Um, and on the back there is a a notebook pocket and this is very stiff leather so this pocket this slot aren't you know aren't that easy to get stuff in and out of this zipper is really oh yeah it was open I don't even use it really um, because the leather is so stiff um, this is really not that helpful um, you know, some, a better choice with stiff leather might be something on the front or just leaving this out entirely. It's uh, a little useless. Um, uh, maybe I should take everything out of here <laughs> because there's so much stuff I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, I'll give it a try. So, there we go. This is a comparison of the front of both. Um, this also has horizontal slots, but yeah, these are kind of odd. They're, they're very, they're not very deep. Um, you can see, like a pen only goes in that far, which is, a little silly. Um, you know, it doesn't really give you that much, you know, I mean, that's how deep that pocket is. I mean, it doesn't give you that much room. So I could see how the um, vertical slots would be better. But because, and I, I know that there's issues with the Malden leather, but, be, you know, particularly this part, this floppy business, but because of it, Everything in here is more useful than in here. Um, you can really like open up these pockets. You can really stuff them if you have a lot of you know wide um, items. Um, 
there's es essentially there's four credit card slots on here. There are five on here plus this one, which is really more like something for ID. Um, but they are oddly hard to you know get things situated right in. Um, I don't think File Effects quite has the credit card slots together. Uh, some of them are too narrow for cards. Some of them, I mean, and, and they're different. So I mean, they're different sizes. You see, I mean, you see here, this one goes all the way out to here. This one is here, and this is really short for an ID. So, you know, I I don't really understand that. Um, but anyway, so there's a long pocket that runs the length of the back, which is very useful, again, because it's, you know, the leather is so pliable. There's a zipper pocket here, which is the same situation, very um, pliable. You can really put a lot of stuff in here. I mean, obviously it depends on how much paper you have, but you can really put a lot of stuff in here. And there's one back here, which right now has... Oh, there's my coupons. I was looking for them. So, the back. Now, on the Malden... I'm sorry, I'm probably making you guys seasick. Um, on the back, it also has a notebook pocket. But again, because of the characteristics of the leather, you can really put a lot of things in here. Uh, you could put a notebook in here and other stuff in here. Um, whereas this one doesn't doesn't really have that going on. I mean, it's very stiff, and when you start to do this, it feels like you're bending cardboard, which you probably are. Um, this has these pen loops are. I'm trying to remember. This one, I think, is a fairly big pen loop. This one is, I think, a little bit smaller. Actually, maybe a lot smaller. And these are smaller than the Maldens. Um, the, you know, I've started carrying um, pens in the. Uh, in this slot back here. Um, right now, I think that's the only one I have, but I usually have three or four. And, I mean, it's really fine. Um, it's a much better solution to have a pen that I like rather than have a pen just because it fits. Um, none of these have elasticized loops, which is really okay. I don't you know, really like the elasticized loops, but I think some of them now have um, elastic on the bottom and leather on the top, which is really, I like that a lot better. Um, both of them have the, I don't know if you can see, you can see file effects written in here. Both of them have the newer rings that say, file effects on them. Uh, these seem to be fine. I think this planner came out around 2005, the green one. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not, you know, having any problems with them. This is, this I bought new, and I guess I was just lucky, because I'm not having any problems with this one either, um, which is nice. This one definitely feels like a leather planner. Um, you know, it's, you could see there's there's parts where the color has come off a little, and there's uh, I have to figure out a way to film this. Oh, it's so frustrating. Um, but this one feels like leather, um, whereas this one feels like something. Maybe a 70s couch. 
Um, it definitely has a vinyl vibe. Um, I know they say it's leather. Let's see if they say it here. It says antique leather. I don't even know what that means exactly. Um, I know sometimes the Maldens come and they look a little different. Um, this one has a definite grain to it. Um, probably, I, I don't know what version because I've never seen another one, but probably a, the smoother one rather than the more Okay, so where was I? The leather. Um, I think this is probably the smoother one. I'm not really sure. Um, this one has a pattern you can feel, but I think it's more the color difference that you notice. Both of them have the contrast color stitching, and I know a lot of people like this, um, but I just think Personally, it makes it look more casual. Um, I wish the stitching was the same color. Um, I know this is a design, you know, preference that I have, but honestly, it seems to me like it's not contrasting stitching as much as it's a way to uh, cut costs. If every, if all of the stitching is white, then you're not, you know, dyeing a lot of thread to match the planners. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know that that's just kind of me. Um, this morning I tried to take pictures of something to show the sizes of the traveler's notebooks and it wasn't really happening so maybe it'd be easier in a video um, this is the pink Rio and you can see well, let me do this first so this is about the same size in length a little bit shorter than the Finsbury and a little bit less short than the Malden. The Finsbury is actually a tiny. This video is all over the place, huh? A tiny bit smaller um, in overall size of the planner. And then you put like this and you can see okay if the bottoms match the traveler's notebook is just a tiny bit smaller even still than the Malden and about the same size in width as the traveler's notebook yeah, this is hard to do in a video, too. I have, like, the leaning tower of planners. Um, this is my newest one. It's the passport size of the uh, Traveler's Notebook. It's a little bit narrower. And... Sorry, I'm sorry. This is probably going to be hard to watch. I may end up redoing it. Um, and it's just a little bit shorter still than a pocket size. But it's pretty close to a pocket size um, in usable space. Because when you take into consideration that the inserts are pretty much the same size as the cover, it, which is different on the file effects because of the rings, um, you can sort of see there's almost more paper space. Um, because the paper goes all the way back to the edge. I hope you can 
can see this, the paper goes all the way back to the edge, whereas on this, you know, you sort of have this, the ring size. So let me see if I can open both of these so you can see. So here's the size of the Midori insert as opposed to the Filofax paper. And you can see you actually have about the same amount of space, maybe just a tiny bit more in the Traveler's Notebook, which is, you know, which is interesting and um, kind of a good thing because you don't have the rings. Sometimes the rings get in the way here. And I think you have a little bit more usable paper going on here. It is a little bit bigger. It's partly the camera angle, but it is a tiny, tiny bit bigger. And you have no rings to contend with, which is really nice. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video was because this this is new. And I'd never shown this. I, the problem is I really haven't done that much to it yet because I, I really do need inserts. I Oh, my neighbor, the, my neighbor's dog, this dog barks all the time. I hope he stops. Um, so I made my own set of inserts, um, cut, just cutting down another one, and tried to make my own calendar, but I think it came out really ugly. And I meant to do another one, and I never did, so I didn't, this was supposed to be like, pumpkin themed for Halloween but I really don't like the way it turned out I never used it so I meant to do another one and I started it and then I got frustrated because I hated October and I stopped but one of the nice things about the um, traveler's notebook is you can really just anything that's the right size you can slide right in and anything that's not you can just cut down and slide right in so even in the in the larger one, you you know you can you can really use full size sheets depending on how you fold it, but it's always easy to just slide something under this elastic. Um, I got a um, when I bought it, I bought the vinyl uh, pocket, which I I really like these. They're just quality. Um, I love the craft paper covers that these come on. You can leave them alone or put stickers or tape or whatever you want on them. And I really like the way they look. Um, you can see they all come with a square. But this was cut down from the full-size planner that I wasn't using. So you just don't really have the square anymore. Um, but it's easy to keep stuff because all you have to do is bend it under the elastic. It's really kind of genius. Um, you know, that said, it's really different from a file of facts and takes some getting used to um, if you're going to like it at all. You know, not everybody is. Um, the credit card slots are great. There's two on this side and two on this side. They're individual slots, so you're not stuffing multiple cards and you actually have two spaces. This is the insert it came with, and it's it's just plain paper, which I just can't, I don't like it. Um, there's nothing wrong with the paper. It takes stuff really well. I'm just not a fan of plain paper. What I started doing uh, with this is uh, Instagram photos. This was a really interesting process actually. Um, you print out the paper. It works better on laser jet. I don't I don't have laser jet so or laser. So I have inkjet. But the process is to print out a picture, cover it with clear packing tape, you know, um, push it down really well so it's totally connected. And then you you let it soak for a few minutes and you basically go like this till all the backing comes off and what you're left with is the image on the tape and it's it's really 
really cool. It's really cool. It's a really easy way to transfer images. Um, because I have an inkjet printer, it doesn't work quite as well. It does, doesn't do bad with blacks and grays, but the colors seem to peel off with the paper. Definitely worth trying if you have a laser printer. It's the easiest transfer method I ever used um, for transferring images. And then you just put it in your book and you have well, kind of a homemade sticker, but you have a good way to attach photographs. This is just a photograph I cut out and, sorry, um, this is just a photograph I cut out because I was, I was doing a little, oh, something came off of here. I was doing just a little photo book because I don't like the plain sheets, but for something like this, it's actually kind of cool. Um, that would really be the only way I would use it, almost like a daily photo diary. Yeah, Ventura sleeps kind of ridiculous. That was um, when he had his cast on, that black thing sticking up is one of the casts he had. Oh, he's dreaming of running. Oh, he stopped moving. Nope. Um, but he sleeps like this a lot. Greyhounds sleep like that a lot. So, um, so this is the, um, the smaller size, and I just stuck a vintage button on it for the closure, and actually another little button, it's kind of shaped like a bean, and it has rhinestones on it. I just stuck it on the bookmark for now, but I really like these. Um, they are consistently quality. They're identical. I don't... I've never had a problem with these. They're, all of these parts, even this metal part, is replaceable. So if something, you know, breaks or snaps or the elastic stretches out, which it kind of does eventually, um, you just put in another piece of elastic. They're, yeah, you know, fairly expensive for what they are. But that said, you know, this was really more, and I know people have a lot of trouble with these um, for a variety of reasons. These come off right away. You know, they have ring problems. This is leather-ish, whereas this is definitely uh, leather. And when a leather filofax, um, you know, wears, it, you know, not everybody likes that look. I don't really mind, but You know, that isn't really attractive to a lot of people. Whereas this kind of leather, as it wears, I don't know, it tends to age and just look better. And I've had this on for a long time. This is a transfer, and I didn't even know if it was going to stay, but it did. I really like it. Uh, because this leather isn't finished, so it's a little, it's more susceptible to water, and you also have to clean it different. Um, if you try to use like Nivea on this and wipe it off, you'll get some of the brown color off, but I'm not doing that again. I think I'm going to try, um, I can't think of it. I can't think of it, but anyway, so it's long, but I guess it takes a little while to, oh, I, I'm t it's toppling over. It's going to fall on my dog. Um, so here's my, my pile at the moment. I really love them all. Um, but they definitely have uses um, that they are better suited for than others. And, you know, but that's kind of dependent. Um, you know, what your needs are and what your aesthetics are. They're all kind of beautiful. So, oh, Ginger is facing me now. There's my big mess over there. It's like stuff I have to go through to clean. That is so frustrating. I seem to have stuff to go through and clean all the time. But here's Ginger. She's sleeping nice and quiet. She's not snoring. 
and there's their water bowl and my big thing of buttons that big round thing I don't even know what it is I found it in a thrift store and I use my Pyrex for everything so my Pyrex is their water bowl and there's my horrible green carpet where you can see everything on it and there's my wonderful dog he's still sleeping So, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that it was so move. You know, I moved the camera so many times, and um, I'm sorry I was kind of rambly. But like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.